Hi, I am Mercader, a application engineer of Tabor Electronics. I am going to show you today a demo on uh, direct uh, generation and acquisition of uh, microwave radar signals using the Tabor Electronics Proteus Arbitrary Wireport Transceiver. Okay, let's go for the demo. Basically, the demo is going to consist in those steps here. We're going to calculate the baseband signal, the baseband signal for a single isolated pulse. And then this is the signal that we're going to download to the instrument. We don't need to download anything else because we can use the internal timer in the generator to produce the pulses at a given pace. So we can change the PRI uh, by changing this uh, internal generator without having to redefine anything in the waveform. After that, we are going to supply this to the uh, IQ modulator in real time. So we are going to up sample the signal using the internal interpolator and we are going to do the IQ modulation, which is necessary because this is an LFM uh, chirp, a linear frequency modulation kind of radar signal. So we need to uh, control the I and Q components of the modulation. As a numerical or um, numerical uh, modulator, you don't have any problems with aligning the the modulator itself because it's by definition perfectly aligned. No no uh, distortions, no impairment. Finally, uh, we will uh, acquire the signal, the, the echo signal, and this signal will be acquired at a sampling rate of 2.4 gigahertz. This means that we are going to use the third Nyquist band of the digitizer, and then we will generate an IF of 800 megahertz. Okay, after that, we will down convert the signal to IQ baseband, we will reduce the sampling rate, and finally, we will process this signal uh, to compress the pulses using a match filter that is required for this kind of uh, situation. Okay, so let's go to the uh, MATLAB uh, script, and we will just go to the script. I uh, set up different breakpoints, so we will stop at some interesting moments, and then we will take a look to the signal. Okay, so let's launch this. We will connect to the instrument. And then uh, the first thing we're going to do is basically take a look to the baseband signal. So this is the baseband signal for the isolated pulse. This is a 10 microseconds, 5 megahertz uh, LFM signal. That is, uh, as you can see, the I and the Q uh, components. The I component is the blue wafer and the uh, Q component is the red wafer. These are the signals that are going to be downloaded to the instrument. The only signal is going to be downloaded. And it can be, uh, it could be generated at very slow uh, sampling rate, like let's say uh, 400 megahertz per second. So you don't have to uh, generate that many samples. Okay, so once we have uh, generated this uh, signal, we're going to download it. Okay, so basically now the signal has been downloaded to the uh, instrument. And then what we are going to do is uh, take a look at the signal in an scope like up here. In order to have a good vision, I will select the input in the big display. And here we can see the signal as it's being generated. Here you see the, the pulses a bunch of them, and then uh, here you can see the spectrum, as you can see, it's a uh, linear FM spectrum, 5 megahertz bandwidth, and at the same time, you can see that it's centered at 3.2 gigahertz, as we expected to have. So this is this. And after that, what we are going to do is to take a look to the intrapulse modulation. Now to do that, I am going to select a different uh, setup. It is going to be a radar set. Okay, so this is an isolated pulse, and the bottom you have an automatic analysis of the instantaneous frequency of the pulse. As you can see, uh, as we expected, this is a linear RAM of frequency centered at 3.2 gigahertz, and here you have the duration, which is around 10 microseconds, and the amplitude of the 
uh, switch, which is 5 megahertz. So this is basically a, a demonstration of the signal that is being generated. So let's go back to the script. And then the next thing we are going to do is acquire the signal with the uh, digitizer. So we are going to acquire the 3.2 gigahertz signal with the detector working at 2.4. Okay, what we are going to see now is the spectrum of the signal. So this is the same spectrum we have seen before in the scope. And I am just showing you the FFT of the acquired signal. As you can see, it's exactly the same thing. But there's a big difference that now, as you see, the frequency is 800 megahertz. This is the central frequency. This is the first step of non commercial zone. We have generated an AF signal at 8 megahertz. So the next thing we are going to do is converting the signal um, to down convert the signal to baseband and do the uh, analysis. So this is the Processed signal, so we have taken all these pulses and we have gone to a, a match filter, and this is the result of the output of the filter. And here you can see, for instance, one of the pulses. We can just uh, zoom on one of the pulses, and you can see the compressed pulse as it was uh, processed by the script. It's important to understand that I use the MATLAB just because it's nice to show the intermediate steps. But all this uh, uh, processing chain could be implemented in the internal FPGA. So at the end, you could get from the from the process unit exactly this signal or even a list of a parametric description of the radar pulse itself. Okay. So this is, has been uh, the demo where you can see these uh, important capabilities we have for uh, RF and micro signal generation and acquisition applied to radar signals. Uh, thanks for uh, attending this uh, for this uh, small uh, demo or viewing this video. And then if you have any further question, or you have here my email address, so you can drop me an email in case you have uh, some questions or. Uh, you need some clarification. Thank you very much.